Hi there, Olivia here. Today I really want to show you a wonderful magic sequence for stretching your neck muscles, in particular the muscles at the back of the neck and the ones through the sides here. It's very powerful, it's very efficient in terms of time spent. This is my go-to sequence for stretching my neck muscles. It's done in a head forward position, so I'm going to recommend that you watch it all the way through first and then press play and follow along the second time. Here we go. Sit up nice and straight. If you want to really target the neck muscles, then you want to keep the middle back straight rather than slumped, but you can do it in a more slumped position if that feels good for you. So nice big breath in, and as you breathe out, just feel how your neck feels today in terms of this chin to chest position. Breathe and relax there. Then you're going to put your hands like this, just fingertips touching, or maybe just overlapping a little bit, but not interlaced, right up on the highest point of the head there. Allow the arms to drape completely, and it's entirely up to you whether you want to also pull the head forward very cautiously. Breathing comfortably there. Then try to use the muscles between the shoulder blades to try and draw the shoulders back and down away from the fixed point, which is the hands on the back of the head there. And then relax that effort and try it again. So think about trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together and then use your lats, the back muscles, to pull the shoulders down. And you should find that that really winds on the stretch through the back of the neck there. Let's do a contraction here. Without letting the head move at all, very gently attempt to push the whole head back into the resistance of the hands for three, two, one. Slowly stop, take a breath in, and as you breathe out, your focus here in the restretch is more chin to chest. And then again, pull the shoulder blades together and draw the shoulders down, breathing comfortably. Okay, that's the first part. Part two, keeping your head in its current forwardmost position, use your waist muscles to turn as far as you want to in one direction. And you should find that that increases the stretch on this side of the neck, the side that you turned away from, in other words. Then we're going to use a slightly different hand position here. I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to let it drape. The bottom hand, so my right arm, I'm using it to pull my head a little bit further forward in a chin to chest. And then the weight of this other arm, the left arm, really pulls on the stretch much higher up through the side of the neck here. Just like you did in the center position, again, try and draw that shoulder back and down in order to increase the stretch through that line. Breathing comfortably. Different contraction is done here. Imagine you're trying to push your chin forward in a head nodding attempt for three, two, one. Slowly stop, take a breath, and then more chin to chest. A little bit more pulling with the bottom hand's arm, so it's a right arm in this case. Again, pull the shoulder back and down. And now part three of this sequence is to try and rotate the head on the neck so that you're looking underneath that elbow, in this case, my left elbow. Breathing comfortably. One more go at pulling the left shoulder back and down. Really pulls on the stretch there through the side of the neck. Completely scalable, completely controllable. You can control the intensity, in other words. To come out, reverse your way out. So turn and look back at the floor. Come back through the middle. Have a little break before we do the second side and use your arms to bring the head upright again. Wriggle around. Wow, that was strong for me today. Let's do the other side. So nice and straight through the middle back, chin to chest. 
hands go on again. So have the right hand now on the top because we're going to be able to reposition it. Let the elbows drape. We'll immediately go into the rotating around the waist. So now my stretch is focused on the right hand side of my neck through here. I can pull with the bottom hands, arms, the left one in this case, but the focus is on the movement of my right shoulder. I'm trying to draw it back and down to increase the intensity of the stretch through the right side of the neck there. Good. Try that head nodding attempt contraction. So I try and push my chin forward away from the chest. No movements occurring. Three, two, one. Slowly stop, take a breath. And as you breathe out, pull with the bottom arm's hand, the left one. And then add the rotation of the head on the neck. Make sure that top arm, the right arm in my case here, is relaxed completely, not held up to avoid the stretch. And then pull that shoulder back and down. Breathe. You might find you can take your whole head a little bit further towards the knee that you turn towards. And to come out, Turn back to the middle, looking at the floor, turn back to the center and help the head up out of that position. Give the shoulders a roll. Have a play with that one. I think you'll really enjoy it.